I need to do a bit of an angry rant because, to be quite honest, currently I'm incredibly frustrated with Rockstar Games. They hate you. They hate me. It seems like Rockstar Games completely hates gamers. They just want to make sure we're all milked until we're completely shooting dust out of our delicious nipples. But I want to talk about what's actually going on and why this is just such a terrible precedent to set for the entire gaming industry. What's up, gamers? Dreamcast Guy here. And today we're going to be talking about GTA Plus, a new amazing subscription model for Grand Theft Auto Online, which is just stupid and predatory. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, I want to take a look at what this is specifically, why I think this is so negative, and, you know, why this is just so stupid. GTA Online is actually getting a new membership program exclusively for Grand Theft Auto Online on the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X and S. This is launching in four days from when I'm recording this, and it's going to provide easy access to a range of benefits, both new and long-standing players on the latest generation of consoles. Now, let me translate this. It's basically saying, hey, we want to make sure that people who are spending the most money on Grand Theft Auto Online are going to spend even more money. Now, before we even continue to go into the actual benefits of this stupid program, let me just remind you of this fun fact. GTA 5 is the most profitable entertainment product of all time. That's over every movie, every album, every other video game, every everything. GTA 5 is the most profitable of all time. It sold 90 million copies and made $6 billion in revenue. Now, this is crazy because this article came out in April 2018. That came out four years ago. Just about a couple of weeks ago, they actually said that they've now passed 160 million. It's a pretty safe bet that doing just some basic napkin math, they have easily made tens of billions of dollars on Grand Theft Auto Online. Tens of billions of dollars. And to them, that's not enough. It's never going to be enough. But let's go back to the amazingness. I cannot believe this is actually the reality I'm in. Because honestly, I like Rockstar Games. I think that Rockstar Games does so much great stuff. They make some of the best open worlds. And this is what their final conclusion is going to be. Is basically the eternal games as a service. Okay, so let's take a look at what they actually give you for this subscription fee. GT Online Plus is going to basically give you $500,000 directly deposited into your digital bank account every single month. And also, you get to claim properties in and around Los Santos that unlock gameplay updates you may have missed out on, extra GTA money, and RP bonuses. So essentially... This is a series of benefits that makes it where if you're already spending money on the game, it's going to go a lot further. So basically, it's all these different stuff of basically free properties, free car upgrades, free money, free extra areas to go to. But also, if you look down here, basically, when you're doing street races, you now get double the experience points. Also, if you're spending money and stuff, it looks like you get extra money for spending cash. Look at this. It says right here directly, and this just annoys me so badly. Grand Theft Auto Plus members can take advantage of a special GTA Plus shark card that provides extra bonus cash. This is so ridiculous. Every month you gotta pay to get these extra subscription awards, and it's going to cost you $6 a month, starting on March 29th. Now, honestly, the reason this just frustrates me so dang much is because, honestly, I feel like this is going to damage the entire gaming industry because now we have the most valuable video game of all time that has so many tiers of expense. Oh, you're playing on the PlayStation 5? Buy the next-gen patch because, remember, if you want the actual ray tracing and the nice graphical upgrades, you gotta buy it on the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. Oh, you want to be able to actually experience the fastest car in the coolest races? Well, you got to buy shark cards. Oh, you want to get the cool exclusive properties and those nice perks and benefits? Well, you got to get the subscription service. My problem with this is that I get a chance to talk to game developers. This stuff continues to trickle down. Basically, whenever stuff like this is making billions and billions of dollars, people are going to try and copy it. Not necessarily the random average guy who's coding a game or writing the quests or the voice actor in the booth. It's going to affect the high up 
executives who are looking and going, wow, so you can sell a game, you can sell microtransactions in the game, and you can have a subscription fee in the same game. This is so stupid to me. I am so freaking annoyed by battle passes. I'm annoyed by, oh, it's just cosmetic skins. Oh, it's just optional. Grand Theft Auto Online has a freaking casino in it. There is an actual casino that you could drive your car to that's just gambling. It's not stories. It's not an advancement. It doesn't make the world a better place. It's just gambling. There is a casino that kids can walk into. Now, my issue with this is just the fact that I feel like this is going to continue to affect everything around it. It's going to make all of games worse. And additionally, I have to admit that part of this is just selfish annoyance. I want them to make Grand Theft Auto 6. Grand Theft Auto 6 is if it's even half as decent as GTA 5 was, it could be the best game of all time. I feel like this feels like some sort of stupid, ridiculous vengeance. They're maybe mad that GTA Online just continues to be so successful when they made Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption 2 obviously had an online that kind of rose and fell incredibly quick. Like, we're just in a space where everybody is trying to maximize their dollars. This is going to make it so every game is going to have more incredibly vicious microtransactions. I am legitimately nervous that coming soon, everything is going to have a monthly fee to some variety. Like, straight up, it does feel like Sony wants to make everything a games as a service. Xbox, obviously, they want us all to be on Games Pass. We obviously have things like Nintendo is trying to get everybody to sign up for the Nintendo Online Expansion Pack. Now, obviously, these are all very different services that provide different things, but the key here is that companies want you to pay every single month. Every company wants to have your credit card information on file and charge you just for playing the games you love, even if you already bought it. Like, it is ridiculous to me. When is enough enough? This reminds me, there's that old stupid saying that says, to a man who has a hammer, every problem looks like a nail. And you know what? I'm starting to feel like to a lot of these games publishers, they start to think with every game, they see a freaking microtransaction. With every gamer, they just see a wallet. They do not care about the quality of the product. They care about the cash in their bank account. Remember when quality actually mattered? God, I'm I'm rambling. I'm, I'm frustrated. I don't know what I'm going to do. You guys rock. Thanks for letting me vent. I'm going to go get some freaking barbecue or something because this, this sucks. Thank you for watching. If you could, give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And please, if you could, keep dreaming. And also, I'm serious, in the comments, tell me a happy game you're playing right now. Play me, just tell me a game right now that you're enjoying that doesn't have microtransactions because I, I need to play something. I'm going to go install Tunic. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.